Welcome back, this is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today we're gonna to talk about vitamin D and depression. So let's get right into it. General signs and symptoms of low vitamin D include frequent illnesses, fatigue, lower back pain, general sadness or low mood, bone loss, hair loss, muscle pain or impaired healing, as well as skin issues. So we're going to focus on sadness and low mood. A study from June 2020 stated the effects of vitamin D supplements on negative emotions, a systematic and a meta-analysis. They did a meta-analysis of 25 different trials. There was over 7,000 participants, so 7,535 participants in these studies. And they did a subgroup analysis which showed that vitamin D had an effect on patients with major depressive disorders. And their subjects' uh, serum vitamin D level, or 25-hydroxy vitamin D levels, were below or equivalent to 50 nanomoles per liter, which is equivalent to about 20 nanograms per deciliter. So usually they use uh, nanomoles uh, in outside of the United States, in the United States, they typically will use 20 nanograms or nanograms as the uh, metric. So they did this study and what they found was this. The dosage that was utilized in the studies were basically between uh, 4,000 equivalent or lower uh, IUs per day or international units per day for equal to or greater than eight weeks. The conclusion was that patients with major depressive disorders <clears throat> and individuals with vitamin D deficiency are most likely to benefit from supplementation. So what that means is that people who are depressive and have low vitamin D will benefit from vitamin D supplementation. However, low vitamin D in itself doesn't indicate that, that they have depressive disorders. Okay. Supplementation recommendation. So in my office, if you're not going to test for blood levels of vitamin D or 25-hydroxy vitamin D, my recommendation is this. Vitamin D at 5,000 international units per day, which is equivalent to 125 micrograms. You take it with or right after the meal because it's a fat-soluble vitamin. You can do vitamin K 100 micrograms with meals or after the meal and you can utilize magnesium to help better convert from your inactive to active forms so you can use magnesium citrate citrate is good for people who have constipation and you can use glycinate for general uh, body use and if you have cognitive difficulty sleep issues and so forth you can utilize magnesium l-theanate here you can use between 200 and 400 milligrams per day. Uh, if you have sleep issues, I would suggest taking it maybe one hour before bed. All right, so that's the clinical study. So if you have some depressive issues and you check your vitamin D and it tends to be on the low side, vitamin D supplementation might be viable for you, okay? So I want you guys to stay happy, healthy, and wise this Thanksgiving. Do not judge others, work on yourself, and have a great Thanksgiving. Have an awesome day. Dr. Sung.